my creative critters, and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. I'm Sarah, and after last week's really long video, just vibing with some music and doing a watercolor painting in real time, I thought I'd do another quick video here for this week. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sarah, and all I do here is share my passion for animals through my other passion, art. I do Fun Fact Friday videos where I share cool things that I learn about animals that you might not know, while also drawing them and and I also do more art related content like painting ceramics and trying new art supplies and other fun art challenges that I come across. Anyway, this week I am house sitting so I'm not near my traditional art setup with all of the lighting and everything. And I could haul all of that stuff here I guess but it's a lot of gear and your girl is lazy. So if you can't tell by now I am just hanging out with my iPad and drawing in Procreate. One of you guys commented on a video of mine, I think it was one one of my frutal videos and had an idea of drawing a blueberry bear or I guess a blue berry and the comment suggested that the bear's nose is a blueberry and as soon as I read that comment I got so so excited to start drawing and it came in the perfect time too because that's when I was deciding on what to draw for this week's video. So I got to it and I thought it would be so cute and fun to have a little bear cub in a cute and playful pose, but with a little blueberry nose. And I unintentionally rhymed. Anyway, I went back and forth if I should have him be a white like polar bear with a blue nose and I might do another version maybe with a white bear with blue spots on his body too. So be on the lookout for that drawing in the future. I'll probably post it on Instagram if not make a video here. Also, this isn't the first time I read a comment from you guys and got really excited to create something inspired by it. So don't be shy and leave me a comment even if it's just to say hi. I love chatting with you guys and it does truly make my day when I see that someone went out of their way to leave a little note on a video that I made. I think it's just so special. I've been on YouTube for almost two years now, I think, coming up in March. And so far, you guys are so wholesome and I'm just really enjoying the community that I'm creating here. So the person who wrote the comment that inspired this video, you know who you are and thank you because without your comment, I'm not sure if I would ever have made a blue berry. This also opens up a whole new series of like maybe I'll do a strawberry bear or a raspberry bear. And I just think merging animals and foods is just so fun. I mean that whole frutal series that I did where I drew if turtles were fruits and all of those drawings just made me so so happy. Or even the candy cane giraffe that I drew for a holiday card. It's just so fun trying to find similarities in foods and animals and how they would work together. It's just such a weird thing and I feel like sometimes the results are just so wholesome and cool and I can't wait to make more. But anyway, if there's any animal and food that you want to see me cross, just let me know. Maybe I'll do a whole series of subscriber inspired drawings. I also do want to mention that I am still new to Procreate and I don't think that I've really mastered it yet. I usually do digital art in Photoshop with my display tablet and my desktop computer at home and I'm just used to Photoshop, but I love Procreate create and using my iPad to draw and I just love how intuitive everything is and my favorite part about it is that it's so portable and that it automatically makes these time-lapse videos which means I don't have to worry about setting it up and blah 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 I can just jump right into creating. I'm also really trying to use more textured brushes and get a little bit outside of my comfort zone of using crisp clean lines and like cell shading and texturing that way and I might end up going back in and re working some of the areas and make deeper shadows and just playing around with the design even more. But speaking of using textured brushes, I've been really into using this Criss Crossy brush that came in Procreate and I had a lot of fun playing around with it and I think I used it a little bit in my snake horn video in the background just to get a little bit of texture there so it's not just a flat background. But playing around with it in this illustration totally wasn't planned whatsoever, but this blue berry ended up being in a nest or a basket or a bundle of hay or something. And since it wasn't really planned, I didn't add any like shading of like maybe where the hay cast shadows on the bear or anything like that. I kind of just stuck it all on there for now, but definitely want to revisit this and maybe put him in a proper like cottage core basket 
with like a little blanket or something like he's going on a little picnic or you just got picked up from going blueberry picking in this cute little basket I don't know I've just been really into cottage core and stuff recently too so who knows what this illustration will bring out of me so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw this little blue berry boy that was inspired by a comment left by one of you. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe for more art and animal related content. I upload a new video here each and every Friday and I would love for you to become a creative critter with me and follow along on my YouTube journey. If you made it this far, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this blue berry cub and the concept of of animals and foods together in general and if you have any combos of different foods or plants even and animals what should I do next thank you guys so much for watching stay creative and I'll see you next Friday's video mm -hmm.